and I, she texted me and I told her, yeah, I'd like to meet with you and your supervisor, which is name. He said, well, my site supervisor hasn't been here in two months. And I emailed her back and said, well, who's your site supervisor then? She hadn't responded back. So I don't know if she thought she, she didn't think she had to change it or, or what, but we'll get back. Every, well, every semester, on, it's the well, same I thing. did on my uh, visits, I made, a, I made a chart, a Google Docs chart, and I said I'm conducting meetings at Monday at this time, this time, this time, Tuesday at this time, this time, Wednesday at this time, this time, sign up for them. And I had pretty good response that way. I got about uh, 16, 17 out of the 21. But I found out today that I've been chasing down one for three days, and she said she dropped. Well, I'm going to start calling tomorrow. Yeah, and Steve, if you'll let us know who that person is, we, we need to know. Um, uh, me and Dale, I, Dale and I an email. I can Steve. tell you, it's uh, Kayla Cecil. Yeah, she she was a no-show for my class. She's never she's never gone in Blackboard, never done anything. Yeah, but I I got I got it today officially that she was that she was withdrawn from the program. See, the problem is, is Steve and I don't get those emails. Um, yeah. They only come to the instructor. And yeah, yeah. yeah we got, I, it was this morning and I, I always, I keep, I keep a written copy of all this. And when, when I get those emails, I write it in my book so that when I go back and have to verify, it's just easy for me to keep up with it that way. All right. If you, if, when you get those, if you will forward those to us so that we can notify the CC ones. I'll, I'll send everything that I know at this point. Dr. Lamb, I had one I've never gotten before. I had a student to tell me that she had not dropped, but the registrar's office has dropped her. I've sent them an email on that one on the and it, Lakeisha Wilk. Yes, Mike, maybe. Mike, okay, yeah, yeah I've sent, uh, and I copied Cheryl. I don't, I don't know why, and we've got one who wanted back in today. I think Jamal or Jackie or Robin talked him back into it, and they never dropped him, but he's out of Blackboard, so they're trying to figure out how to get him back in Blackboard. So we're working on two of those right now to get them back in, but. So far, I don't, I, I can't know how many have dropped. Um, I have had two that uh, dropped besides this one. Uh, yeah, we're, we're gonna have melt. We always do. If we, those were. Uh, they got late never, notifications, I'll bet. Uh, one never did show up uh, and that was Starlet Walls and the other one was Catherine Wright. Those those two dropped. Did did you get notification about the Starlet Walls? Because she contacted me and said she would let me know when her principal could meet with me. Okay, well she may be another one like the Lakeisha, and that's the reason I mentioned that. Uh, yes, I did get the same notification from the uh, office now i don't suppose she would have dropped and went to another group somewhere but no. i got i got information. now that that may be the case they said they had one that wanted to change back to jeff's original because of the date so i'm guessing that's what that one was All right so that may be starlet wall she may be in jeff's class that would that would be the one we only have okay. one of those who couldn't but had a conflict in their schedule and I told them to go ahead, but to notify us that they were going to do that. So that may be the one, Steve. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you said Lakeisha, is that Lakeisha Donaldson? No, that was white. Okay. Then what about, uh, I heard her also mention, um, oh, what was the other name she said? Uh, Catherine Wright. Yes, Catherine Wright. Now I've got her as a CC one. Has she dropped? Uh, that's the notification I got. Okay. Follow up with her anyway to make sure she's dropped. And okay. Maybe they just move sections with her. Make make sure. Uh, that's the reason I mentioned those because after I got this one from Lakeisha, I thought, well, okay, I don't even know whether any of this is accurate or not. 
I'm just wondering if they're not doing some load balancing and the reason moving them around, not understanding that we meet classes on different nights. Yeah. Um, because they mm -hmm. overloaded some sections, they may be trying to balance some. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, I can't get them to understand how to enroll to 15 and then start in the next group or take all of them and put one, 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 and one, that, that's too, that's beyond their scope. So <laughs> not understanding that when you move people around and shuffle them and do this, it encourages them to drop. We're already trying to hold on to them anyway, makes it more difficult. So, but the good news, I talked to the registrar, I talked to Luann today, um, we've got extended drop ad. We're not going to do roll verification till next Monday, a week from today, which is great news. Um, I was afraid they were going to spring it on us tomorrow as they normally do. Um, you know, we started last Monday and usually the following Tuesday, they wrote open roll, but they're going to wait till next Monday, which reminds students that, it, you know, we've still got some time before drop ad is up. Um, try to get them to stay if you can, get them to come to a couple classes, but we got time to get them back in as well. That's good news. Um, so next Monday, they're saying now that next Monday is going to be a holiday? Uh, no, it's going to be a holiday, but drop at, but roll verification is not going to come out until then. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's only for on-campus classes, or, but for us, we just keep right on going. They're doing first time ever, they're doing no campus classes, but we that's not an observed holiday for us. We just keep going. And now Luann said today that she's planning on doing drop uh, enrollment verification next Monday. It may be next Tuesday, which even is even better than you. The longer that we wait. Now I told her that we're only gonna do no shows for somebody who has not been in Blackboard at all. If they've withdrawn, it'll show as a withdrawn on, on the role verification, as you know. But if they've not been in Blackboard, and everybody knows how to check that in Blackboard, let me go over that again. Let me go over that again. I've got that on my list. So, Dale, I had a couple to drop before last Monday. Should I reach out to those in my class? Well, just make sure that, you know, that they've dropped. Um, you know, Jennifer Dale and Christina Lynch. If they you know, just confirmed that they've dropped, might be that they've dropped out of yours and added to somebody else's. So okay. confirm that that they that they in fact have dropped. Okay. Um. And so let me share my screen. And everybody knows, go to your grade center. Let me close some of this stuff. Move some of this stuff out. When you go to Grade Center, full Grade Center, it will show you if they've been in 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 your last access. See, I've still got one that we're still we just got her registered today, and she's a new student at EDCI to to, to add on. So we just got her added. So obviously she's not been in yet, but she is coming, but you can see on last access, if they've not been in, it'll be blank. And those are the only ones we're no show. Everybody else, if they drop, they'll show us a drop. Um, but if we no show them and they're there or, or just, um, so make sure they all tell everybody to go into their blackboard shell if they're with us. If we no show them, you know it's an act of Congress to get them reactivated. So let's not no show anybody that, that's been in. If they if they've dropped, they were in and then dropped later, that, that will that will eventually show as a drop. And that's okay. But no shows are for people who never came, we never heard from, never attended, never responded, never went into Blackboard. And by by next Monday, surely that everybody will be cleared up that if we got them, they'll have been in Blackboard by then. Uh, Luann said she'd work with Bob to get these reinstated. Uh, so hopefully we will uh, we'll get.
get that. Dale, can, may I ask Barbara a question? Barbara, did you say Lakeisha Wyke was in your class? Yes, she's supposed to be. Okay, she's. Is she, what didn't you say something about her earlier, or was that the she's one? The, that, she's the one that sent me an email that said she hadn't dropped, but the university had dropped her. Okay, she's a CC one of mine, and I haven't heard anything from her yet. And I've sent several several emails trying to get her to respond. She she lives in Rayford. She said that they had dropped her last week and again this week, and she said I don't understand why, because my um, her financial aid was in place. So that's the one I when I got that from her today, I sent it to Dr. Lamb, and he's checking on it. And we're working on that one now. I don't know why that one got dropped. Okay. I, I don't I know. I saw your email about T Antonio getting reinstated. So that's yes, good. trying to get him back. They're not sure why he's not showing up in your C6. He's in your C6 section. I right. had assumed he was in your C12 when I sent the original email because he mentioned uh, Dr. Tobias. I asked him which section. Of course, he couldn't tell me because he couldn't get it blackboard. And so I right. guess it was 12, but I have tracked him down. He's in your six, C6 section, but he's re, they've re-enrolled him, yeah, but it, hopefully he'll show up in Blackboard tomorrow. She's got Bob on that. Sometimes they don't show until the uh, to, to Blackboard updates. And so we'll, we'll, we'll scramble and struggle here for the next week or so, getting them all enrolled and getting them in the right place, but that's okay. We'll just send me emails and I'll follow up. I'll be back on campus tomorrow uh, and we'll do that. And so part and parcel, the next piece of that role verification will be next Monday or Tuesday. Don't, don't take attendance until after role verification. So that's the next piece. If you'll notice in all of your shells this semester, um, they have put a menu item called quickly attendance. Um, if you look at it's over here on the left hand side uh, on your menu, I have gone in each and every one of your class shells and activated that and set it up. Um, wasn't that hard to do, it didn't take me that long. And so I have set up all of your attendance for quickly. Now, I don't want you to take attendance until after roll verification. Um, now, once roll verification rolls around, here's how we're going to do attendance. Is Dr. Bull on with us yet? I talked with him last Yes, week. I am. Yes, I am. I'm Thank you and welcome. We'll let you we'll let you pray for us at the end. Um but and that'll be that'll be nine o'clock if Dr. Gladys. No, it won't no, we never go past thirty minutes. I'm 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 we're not we got nineteen more minutes and we'll we'll make that easily. So okay. talking with Dr. Bull last week for asynchronous, which we are our attendance will be based on weekly assignments. And so if they miss a weekly assignment, the week after roll verification, again, if they get that free time at the beginning. So let's say we roll verify next Tuesday. So on Sunday night or whatever night after Tuesday, you have your work due, I have mine due at Sunday night at nine. On Monday morning, if they didn't turn anything in, I would count them absent for that week. Now, I asked Dr. Bull and he agreed. We're not gonna go back. If they turn it in Thursday or Friday of that week, they're still gonna be absent. We're, we're not gonna go back and change that. So whatever your day is that you set, this week assignment is done and your weekly assignment is done. The next day, if it wasn't done that day, the next day count them as absent. Do not revisit that. But now let's be sure to understand we're going to start the week once roll verification is done. They get they get that. Um, so if they've been missing all along, I, you know, we, we, we won't hold that against them, get them enrolled and get them in the right places. So for me, it will be next Sunday. Um, if, if my folks didn't turn anything in for that week, on Monday, I'm gonna count them out on that quickly attendance. And so when you go to quickly attendance, it simply looks like this. And it counts them all present and you just click on absent. 
The default is present, as you can see. It's already highlighted, and if you want to count one out, just click on absent. That's all you have to do. And your class list will pop up. I've already populated all of those. I already set them up where all you got to do is go in and click and then hit the submit attendance button, and that's it. So it should be really simple. You just look and see who didn't turn in any work this week, the day after it's due. Uh, but that will be after next week's roll verification, the next grading period that you have after that. It'll be Sunday night for me, the following Sunday night. You go in and click on whoever didn't turn in any work is absent and hit submit attendance. And you're done. And then you'll do the same thing the following week. I'm going to do mine every Monday mornings when I'm going to do mine. Dr. Lamb, can we tell, can, when we have our uh, coaching session on Thursday, can we emphasize that to the students? Yeah, that, that you know, that we're, we're taking, that, that there is a grading, there is an attendance policy. It's not based on them coming to video sessions. It's based on them keeping up with their work. This is another way to encourage them to keep up with their work and not get behind, especially okay. since we do peer review. Now, if you want to do it on task, that's fine with me. If you want to do it on weekly assignments, I'm going to do mine because I don't have a traditional males class this semester. I have the doctoral add-ons. And so I'm, they, they won't do any tasks for me for a while yet, so I'm going to do it on weekly assignments. If you want to set yours up in terms of task one, task two being in Blackboard, that's fine. It, Whatever you decide is fine with me, but you know, there's, there's got to be an understanding that, that they, they know when that stuff is due. And if it's late, I would say if it were me and I had a traditional males classes, add-ons and regular, I would do it on tasks because if they don't turn their task in, we get behind on peer reviewing. I mean, that's in the weekly assignment drop box and those are already set up. And so I would, I would do assignment Dropbox. If you didn't turn your task one in on time for peer review in discussion board, that would, that would be my attendance for those. But you can do it on with the assignments. And that's, and Dale, that's up to the instructor. And Dale, if I can add too, once you do your attendance, if you mark them absent, it will send them an email telling them that they were absent. Right, and that's a, so I would prefer that you do it off discussion board submissions of task because that reminds them hey you're you're getting behind you're not keeping up we can't peer you know i can't instructor or coach review and we can't peer review if you're not putting your task in that's another way to, to to remind them to stay up and not get behind on on their task that's always a problem as we know in 601 and so that would certainly help us so if you have any questions, contact me, call me or email me. But that's, so every one of you in all your class shells, your attendance is set up, your students are already there, all you, everything's set on default. All you have to do is go in and mark them as absent and submit uh, if they don't turn in their weekly assignment. I would personally go with, with task of the, of the evidences or you can use uh, your weekly assignment, whichever you prefer. All right, so. The only other thing is, is our folks making visits. Um, let me switch. Hopefully it will continue to share. All right. So when you go into task stream, when you log in, there are different roles, author, reviewer, evaluation, evaluator, and evaluation manager. I have gone into task stream. I'm going to be helping Wendy as she sent out the emails. I'm going to start registering and I'm going to group all of ours in mail. So hopefully when she gets, we only, we share one login. So when she gets out tonight, I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try to enroll all the mails people and put them in the groups so that when you make your virtual visits, they should be able to get into their DRF just in case they can't. I've gone in and put all of you in as author as one of your roles. Now, what that means is if you click on that author tab and then go to Mel's school fall 20, for example, if, you, if you're coaching or you're doing visits, you should have this one. 
when you go to that one, you should be able to see what they see. This is the student view or the author. So if they are not, if they haven't established their task stream account, you can still work with them to show them what's in task stream. So when you sign into task stream the next time, and all of you have a sign in, I've set it all up. If you'll click on the author tab, you can see what students see. In Dr. case, Lamb, yes. I did that today with the visits I made, but I only had the option of, of 2017 add-on and- see, see if it's in there now. Um, sometimes uh, I, I did that today um i had to get okay. everything else set up and it may be tomorrow but it, it takes us a six hour lag it may be tomorrow before it shows up but that's exactly right steve i, I tried to add you to the newest drfs today um we finally got those i had to wait on wendy we don't uh, um i can't get in front of her and so we got ready to then we got well, we could do that today so i went ahead and did it and i'm going to pick up for her tonight and start enrolling and putting in groups. So hopefully they'll be able to see their own a um, little bit later this week. Uh, but we had to, she had to send us some things out and do some things on, she sent those out Friday. They started sending them back on and we started being able to enroll today. And so I could go in and change your roles today and add you and I did. So, uh, if you get ahead of yourself in task stream, you sometimes can't go back and fix it. And so, but, but she and I have confabbed over the phone today, so we're in good shape. And I'm gonna work tonight and burn in the midnight oil and see how many I can get enrolled. I've got two in Danny's section uh, of C2, just as a, we did a test run today on a couple and it worked. So we're, we're good to go. So I'm gonna be working on task stream tonight and tomorrow try to get that knocked out. Uh, that'll help her since ours are more than half of all the new enrollees. And so I'm trying to, I'm gonna work with her tomorrow on, we've got to do some work in some of the others to set them up. I already had mine done. And so I'll help her with the others. And so <laughs> hopefully we'll get task stream up and running this week a little bit earlier than usual. Um, and so um, she's a hard worker, but it's a pretty steep learning curve on task stream. Um, and so, um, but yeah, I've got everything set up for us. We've got all of our DRFs. I, I set up all the new DRFs. I've, I have uh, edited them. I've added all of you in. Um, and so now I'm, I've set up all the groups by sections. Uh, so we're, we're good. We, all we got to do is enroll in group now. We're, we're golden. That shouldn't take me that long. So I'll be working on that. And then I'll help her tomorrow to set up the others. And so we should be, we should be where we need to be pretty quickly here. Um, you know, we're just trying to get in front of these things. And so I just want to make sure everybody knows what, where we are and what we're doing. All right, let me stop my share. Dr. Bull, welcome. Thank you for being with us. What words of wisdom do you have for us today? He's muted himself. That's that's. that's yeah, I'm not sure you have enough oil. I don't have enough. I'm not sure you have enough oil in your can to to burn <laughs> the midnight oil. But um, at least you have a backup generator. Should that happen? That's exactly so, right. And I know you're a good man. Um, well, I just want to welcome you all um, again to the semester, and um, we do not take it lightly when we say uh, males. Um, adjuncts are the backbone of the program. Um, we have awesome faculty members, um, Dr. Lamb, Dr. Sanders, and Dr. Steve Stone. Did you clap for him that he won the Graduate Faculty Award? Well, I was going to tell him that but here at the end, but, well, but uh, well, congratulations. He won the, the Faculty uh, of the Year Award for the Graduate School this year. Yeah. yeah. So, Yay. great faculty. And, uh, and our adjuncts, I mean, we, we had, did you share that with them, that we had 15, mm -hmm. the top 15 SOIs of the adjuncts came from the School of Education 
and I think half of them were males faculty. Did That's you? correct. That was from the spring, and I think we're going to do that well or better for the for the summer. <laughs> yes. So it's really amazing. Um, so I just really want to thank you all as we continue to grow. Um, you're in good hands with the amazing full-time faculty members that we have, but we could not do this without the adjunct. So uh, I come today to bring greetings on behalf of um, our new president, President Downs. Um, he is taking this university um, in a different path. Um, and then, um, you know, as the country is experiencing a new normal, we experience a new normal. One of the things that we're going to be doing is um, grant writing. Um, for the longest time, we have not participated in any federal or state grants. And so there may be plenty of opportunities there to partner with school districts. And if you all know of any grants or things like that, then, um, and you've done some and would like to partner with the program, please let us know because um, we really want to um, move in that direction and do that. Um, the second thing I would like to talk about is the fact that we're doing a strategic plan for five years. And in the strategic plan, we would like to include all our partners, including our adjuncts, uh, because you're all the backbone of the program. And so this Friday, we are having a faculty meeting. And at that point, we would come out of that meeting with, um, with a draft strategic plan. And so I know probably the following Monday, you all don't meet with Dr. Lam on Labor Day weekend now. On that Labor Day weekend, thou shall rest. <laughs> um, but I know the next time you all meet, then you will discuss that. So um, mm -hmm. I just want to say thank you all for the amazing work. And I will entertain questions before I do the prayer or the closing prayer before we exit. Are there questions or comments? Just a reminder, as Dr. Bull said, it'll be two weeks. We'll go back to our normal schedule now. We'll meet again in two weeks on Monday unless something major comes up since m next Monday is uh, Labor Day. And so I'll see you yeah. in two weeks. That's all I have. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I just also want to pitch this in for those of you who are in the school system. Um, you know, a couple of years ago, we started the um, teacher assistance program. Um, that started with just an idea and a dream and we implemented it. Um, I'm proud to say we are almost 150 strong um, tiers. We have, to date, we have five tiers of transition into resident um, teachers. And we have a fourth set of tiers who will be graduating in December. I say that to say that if you're in a school system, elementary or wherever you are, and you know, good teacher assistants who have the dream to pursue their license, we have an awesome program that supports them with an assessor, with their own mentor, with their own academic advisor plus instructor. So um, see me if you'd like to get more information on that. Um, but on that note, let us go into prayer and at this time, we would call into God's presence, um, the faculty, staff, candidates, all our adjuncts who are present. Also call into prayer your needs, members of your family and your friends who are going through difficult times. We pray for those who've lost loved ones in the pandem pandemic and those who are going through difficult times and for all the healthcare workers. Heavenly Father, I will call upon you this day as we meet to start the mission and vision and continue that of Gardner Web this semester. Lord, we want to thank you. We thank you for protecting the campus um, at this time that we've been in the bubble and may you continue to guard the four corners of the university so that we may continue to do the work that we do with the undergraduate students. I want to thank you for the able-bodied leadership of Dr. Lamb Dr. Stone and Dr. Sanders to carry this program and for all of you who dedicate your lives to help us grow this program. I want to thank our leadership at Gartner Web for the mission and vision to help us prepare for greater good to serve God and humanity. And I want to thank you that as you embark on this semester, may God continue to guide you, to impart knowledge, and to engage your candidates in ways to make them 
fulfilled enough to be able to change the trajectory of K-12 education in North Carolina and beyond. These are not all we ask in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. All right. Call, email, write. Pony Express, if you've got issues, problems, let me know. Um, let's not lose any that we don't have to. All right. And so I will see you all in two weeks. Have a good holiday. Dr. Thank Lamb, you. can I see you after, Dr. Lamb? Sure. Uh, Dr. Lamb, I had a question about um, the TAS stream, and this has to do with the EDLS program. Right. Those students who are in EDLS 730 and right. are those, do they have to create a new TAS stream? What's going to happen with TAS stream? All right, I talked with her about that today. Um, they do not have to. Um, okay. So what happened was she didn't know, and I, I had thought, well, so what? She said, we've got, I'm writing some things down here. Yeah. She said, we've got 80, she said, we've got 80, uh, let me turn this off. And um, let me, 